Hi, my name is Emma Carpenter. I'm here at Second Swing today in Minnetonka, and I'm gonna give you an inside look at what it's like to get fit like a pro. I am a senior on the women's golf team at the University of Minnesota. I'm about a plus 3.4 handicap, and I'm really looking for a, a new hybrid to put in the bag today. So I'm here seeing Larry Bobka, who I have known for about five years now. Um, I go to him for all my fittings, and the hybrid that I have in my bag right now has been in there for about six years, I believe, uh, and it's always worked really well for me, but the majority of my set has been upgraded to a little bit heavier clubs with some stiffer shafts, so I think that matching up the hybrid to that feel will really help me, as well as there's been a little bit of a gapping issue, so I think that finding a hybrid today with Larry that I'll be able to hit far enough, but also something that's gonna spin right and be able to go high and land soft on the green will be really, really helpful for me. That will be good. Woo! There you go. That's good. It's really good. <laughs>
Yep. I mean, you probably love hitting that into the wind, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> if, if I'm into the wind, I will never pull the Yeah, swamp. you'll never pull it out. You <laughs> only know? if I'm downwind. <laughs> well, you know, so now it's a club that only works part-time. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. So right. let's do this. Let's grab your four iron. Let's hit a couple four irons. Kind of see the distance that we really need to, that we need to cover. Little so, I mean, you, you block that one a little bit, but that's carrying just as far as the hybrid was carrying. Right. So that's where you said, hey, you know, you never want to, and especially if you're into the wind, you're going to pull the four iron all day long. Every time, yeah. But then it limits you that, hey, if I need a carry of 210. It's only a perfect storm of if I'm like super downwind, yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe I can get the hybrid that far because right. the, it'll go high and the wind will right. help. All but right, otherwise. so hit a couple more of those, then we're going to hit your three wood, and then we're going to find the gap we need to fill. Okay, really solid there. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll just leave with that. Let's hit, a, let's hit a couple three woods now. So we know we carry this. And on the golf course with the four iron, are we figuring about 195 carry? Um, I, yeah, yeah, sometimes in... Almost two? I get a little adrenaline, two, 205 even yeah. carry. Okay. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's grab the three wood. All right, solid there. But for you two also, the three wood's more of a three wood's more of a tee club than it is a fairway club, right? Yeah, or, or only if I'm if I'm really trying to chase something, like right. not trying to land it high and soft, but like it's lower spin, so. If I'm in the fairway and I'm trying to kind of get it as far as I can to get closer to the green on right. par five, this is when I pull this because it goes like close to, maybe even close to, to 250. There you go. That's better. There you go, 244. So, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, pretty much what that club does, which mm -hmm. is really good. Mm -hmm. So, I have gone ahead and kind of pre-selected a couple things for us to try. So this is a Ping G425 19 degree hybrid. What's the degree on my other one? 19. Okay. Same thing. Yeah, that's about, the height is probably totally, about right. Yeah. Totally different shaft though. Okay, so there's the, money. there's the total difference. So now we get that 210 carry. We get spin at 3,500 instead of 4,900. And it's gonna roll out to 230. I mean, it's exactly what we want. That was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> that was like perfect. Yeah, well, you know, swing it pretty good and you know, have, a ha have, a ha have a halfway decent fitter. You're okay, you're gonna be all right. Larry, you can't guess right away. It's gotta be a little trial and error, huh? Hey, that's what happens <laughs> six years working together. <laughs> I know what you need. Let me see if I can do that again. Make sure it wasn't a fluke here. Yeah, it wasn't a fluke. <laughs> All right. A little right. No. Cut that one a little bit off the bottom. Yeah, just a little, a little bit. thin. But again, that's off the bottom at 4,100, where yours off the bottom was 49 or yeah. almost 5,000. That's yeah. why into the wind, it was like impossible. Yeah. So hit a couple more with that. And that's why I would pretty much never use the other one off the tee either, because it was like so like high and spinny that kind of, like- Kind of a rainbow trajectory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. so. We have some settings to play with, so I might mess around with that a little bit, but I want to have you hit, I want to have you hit a Titleist hybrid also. Okay. I like Titleist. So this is a TSI too. Give That's me what my driver is. Yeah. Give me one. And I love the driver. Give me one second. No, hmm. not bad. That was, yeah, that was just a little thin. If I no. get this next one. Well, in these, so shaft wise, 425 and the Titleist now match your iron shafts. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, I think about it this way. You had, you had iron shafts that were stiff 
a little bit heavier, stronger. Yeah. And you got a hybrid that's, you know, yeah. made, made for somebody who swings slower. Right. Especially when like mid round, if I'm pulling the hybrid for the first time on like the 16th hole, it was like, I haven't swung anything like this all yeah. day. And you have no idea what, what you're going to get. Right. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. This one feels really good too, actually. Maybe a little. I like the spin rate on this one. So this is a little, this is a little stronger loft. This is at 18 degrees. Okay. So this might fit in the bag more for what we need, you know, because yeah. it's your speed. You know, you can you can overpower a golf course because you hit it long enough. We need clubs in there that will help you do that. Right. So. Well, especially, I think it might make sense to go down a degree because my four iron's going so far. Yeah. Like. That wasn't awesome. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I didn't catch that awesome, but like. Yeah, but look at, look at the spin rate, look at the carry, pretty perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wait, now I think I might like this one better. Well, that's why we're gonna, you hit that, you hit that a little more. I'm also gonna adjust the ping a little bit for us. Okay. It's gonna be good. That will be good. Ooh! There you go. What? <laughs> that's good. It's really good. <laughs> like I said, you know, a really good golf swing and a halfway decent fitter. It's amazing what you can have happen. <laughs> that's Dang. really. But see, but that that gives you another weapon in the golf bag. I've never, yeah, I've never gotten numbers like that out of a hybrid before. No. But it'll still like, it'll still land soft enough to hold the green though, right? Yeah. Well, do me a favor. Hit me one with that. Feel like you're going to hit like it up little, in the air a little bit okay. with a little cut. Like a little cut more. Yeah. Got it. Get a little cut. That one was 0.6 face, 0.6 path. That one was like dead straight practically. So you can hit it up in the air as much as you need to. Yeah. Look at I that. Mean, the spin rate goes up. Like. Yeah. Well, think about this. That was your standard shot with your hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. No, hit me one more. Hit me another little, hit me another little cutter. Larry, I had a career round going this summer and I had that hybrid into a par five. It didn't work out so well. Really soft topic for me. Uh -oh. Yeah, like it was on the final hole. I was like Where having at? the round of my life. Where it was, at? It was at Chicago Highlands. I was playing really, have you played out there? No. Westchester, Illinois. Yeah, I was uh, I was six under par, and I was the last hole. I had a hybrid into the par five. Yeah. In the water, bogey, five under, could have been seven. Come on. Should have called right after that round and said. We I mean, need a new coulda, <laughs> coulda, woulda, shoulda. I was I was blaming it on myself. Yeah, but see, that's the that's the problem. Sometimes, you know, you sit there as a good player. It's kind of the curse of being a good player. Yeah. That you think about, oh, I made a really bad swing on that. Yeah. Well, maybe you didn't make the best swing. Right. But if your club's not fit very well for you, right. then it just exaggerates the mistake. Right, exactly. Where if you had a better club in your hand, I mean, look at now with your iron. You got to admit now, probably with your irons, since we fit you in your irons, your iron play has been a whole lot better. Right. It, like way better. Right. Immediately when we got the, when we switched the irons, after um, I came to you and we got new irons, I started playing way better. <laughs> yeah, because it's control. Yeah, so that makes sense. So we're just sense. giving you control with the hybrid today. Golf, it's about managing the misses. That's right. <laughs> managing the misses. You're going to make seven of them around. You just got to make sure they're not too bad. Seven misses around, yeah. That's what Walter, In my dreams. That's what Walter Hagen used to say. <laughs> You're going to hit seven bad shots. You just got to manage around those. Look at that. So Look at that. And that felt like a miss. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Let's go back to the ping. Can I hit so this one more time? <laughs> <laughs> what, what ball flight should I try to hit? Like, uh, should I try to like power draw or hit another like let's high hit, cut like Let's that? hit a slinger. slinger. So, you know, you're on the tee, a little bit into the wind. We need to chase this down. Let's hit that. That's going far. 
Okay, so there's a perfect example of the shot you probably hit during that really good round of golf, and it, end up, it ended up 20 yards left of where it is. That one would still be in the fairway and would still be playable. Right. Let's hit that one more time. Do me a favor, try it. So if we're gonna hit that slinger, you've been a little afraid of hooking. Yeah because of the, the, shot, the soft shaft. Right. So just aim it a little bit right and just let, just let your golf swing draw it. Got it. Oops. Well. There you go, that's okay. But that's better, that's way better. Yeah, one more time. One more time. One oh, more time. Start it to the right. Start it to the right. <laughs> start it to the right and just let it go. Look at that. Look at that. So now, <laughs> talking about having a weapon that spins at 2,500, so you're standing on the tee, and you're on a tight hole, and your other competitors are trying to stick a driver in there, you can take this and knock it 238 right down the middle of the fairway and not worry about any conditions in play. And I'll guarantee you get that on a firm, fast fairway. That's going 250 yards. Dang. And I was able to hit that one a little lower, but then when I wanted to hit something like yeah. high with more spin, like I was able to do that. Yeah, because it, it just matches up. Shaft, especially the shaft matches up better. Dang. So let, yep. Yeah, so we're really good with that. Let's see. Let's I'm, see what the ping does. I'm getting excited. Yeah, give me one more second. Let's see what the ping does at a little stronger law. Did you take this one down a degree then? I did. Okay. It's funny, I get in here and I get like a little adrenaline. I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta calm down a little bit. Well, <laughs> you know what? I can't tell you how many people get in here and all of a sudden they say, I'm like, do you actually swing that way on the golf course? Oh no, I'm like. You should. Yeah, swing, right. like, swing like you swing on the golf course. That's, you know? And that's, that's why advice. it's good to visualize, especially for you being such a good player. You, you gotta visualize when you come into the bay, you gotta visualize shots you're gonna hit on the golf course. Right. Think about, think about golf courses where you're going to hit something, you know, like when you guys play the Invitational. Right. Where are you going to use a hybrid out there and what are the shots are you going to hit? Right. You haven't been able to do that because you've had a hybrid that doesn't fit your the rest of your set. Right. Now you're going to have it. So you're going to be able to kind of rethink a lot of the a lot of golf holes and go, "Hey, I can just hit this. I can just hit this little slinger out yeah. there." Yeah. Yeah or something like the the four iron sometimes like doesn't land super soft too because right. of how strong loft that yeah. it is so if i can hit that shot too that like high cut with this club that lands like really nice like that's perfect too that's why hybrids are there you know that was hybrids cool. really came about because of the golf ball change in 2000 in 2000 when the golf ball lost about a thousand to fifteen hundred spin yeah you know you can't hit it you can't hit a three iron or a two iron anymore because the ball won't stay in the air that's not because of the golf club it's because of the golf ball now look at that yeah. so we know 18 degrees is kind of the is kind of the sweet spot where you need to be then the question becomes which one of these do you like the best so let's hit a few shots let's hit some shots with this let's see if you can hit the draws hit the fades Okay. Yeah, that one was like a dead straight, like maybe fall cut. Yeah. 214 carry, 244. Yep. Ooh, this is pretty good. Which one do you like better? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> but I, I have an opinion. Well, now I'm scared that we're not going to like the same one. Personally, I like personally I like the titles a little bit. Me too. Bit because <laughs> but it's got a little bit more adjustability. Because okay. you know, it's all well and good that we fit in here. Yeah. But when you get out and you start the spring season, you're gonna hit a lot of shots. We might you might just come back and say, Hey Larry, it's just a little bit too hot. Yeah. Okay, we can adjust the loft a little bit. Or yeah. it's going a little left or a little right. You know, it's a great thing about have adjustment. Ping's adjustable too. Mm hmm Titleist has got a little bit more for us to, to adjust to. Is the 
Are the heads the exact same weight? Because this head feels heavier. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know why. You hit a couple more with that, and then we're going to hit a few, a few more with the titles. I felt pretty good. Oh, a little left. So here, let's go back to Tylus. So just so you know, your hybrid that you brought in was a 60 gram shaft. That in your hand is a 90 gram shaft. So we have jumped up. 30 it's kind grams? Of, but it's kind of, yeah, but it's the same thing we did with your irons. Yeah. You had, you know, you were playing a 60, 70 gram iron shaft. Right. Now we're playing a 100 gram iron shaft. Right, you right. You know, at, at your speed, Right. It's nothing to worry you need control right right it's just not the same now as it was when i was a freshman in college no that wasn't phenomenal let's see what it does yeah oh but it wasn't phenomenal but that's a darn good miss yeah i, I think this one feels like it goes a little bit higher actually goes than a little the, bit goes a little bit higher it's a little bit more consistent and the other thing is, you like the way it feels. I love you it. You can't, yeah. that is a huge part of it. I mean, it's like I like to tell people that come in for fittings, and they're like, well, I like this one, I like that one. I mean, it's like going in the dealership and buying a car, and you buy a blue car, and you're not, blues, you're not your favorite color. And every morning you go out into your garage, you get in your car, and you're like, why did I buy this color car? I don't <laughs> like this. Color. It's the same thing with a golf club. Yeah. Why should, you know, hey, the ping, the ping works pretty good. Yeah. But that looks better. That feels better to yeah. you. Yeah. You know, hey, it's a game of confidence. The guy at the dealership told me to buy the blue car. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because <laughs> they, they gave me $1,000 off the blue car. See, that's the shot that I like. That's yeah. the one where you get just the shade over the top, mm -hmm. face is a little bit closed, but that's still control. That is, you know, that is not the big sweeping hook that's going to hit you in the water. Right. And ruin a really good round of golf. Yeah, I like my misses way more. Yeah. Like, I did not catch that right. Yep. And that's, like, fine. Like, that miss with this, with the... Uh, with the uh, um, other one was yeah. like about 5,000 RPM. Well, think about your home golf course. Think, yeah. about, think about Kishwaukee. Think about the places you could hit that golf club. Well, because, yeah. Well, the tee shots, par five. I mean. Jack and I tip it out, so then, yeah. like, I need this, too. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, think about, think, about standing on the, think about standing on the first tee back there and, and knocking, this, knocking this 250 down the middle of the fairway on that hole. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah. I mean, it just works so many places for you. And it's just, to me, I like it because now it gives you, it gives you one more option off the tee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and it also gives you an option that when you are playing a good round and you're standing there and you have an opportunity to knock yeah. down a par five, it's not going to go. Well, even I'll give you a technical term: wonky. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be all wonky. Right. I like. I want to keep. Okay, so it. here's what I want you to do. So I want you to hit a fade. Okay. A draw, and then I want you to just hammer one as hard as you can. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. That is so much better. That's I would, so I wouldn't much even want to hit that shot. I wouldn't even want to hit that shot with yours because it'd probably spin about 2,000 more than that. <laughs> so there's the shot. You know, we're going into a par five. Yeah. You need a little bit more carry than the four iron. Yeah. That's exactly what we're hoping for. Yeah. All right. So now let's hit the chaser off the tee. Start it right. Start it right and let it go. There you go, beautiful, look at that. So the spin rate goes down to 2200. Yeah. It hits on the ground and it's chasing and it's running and now you got control. But that's so, it's good. I mean, 
no matter what the wind's doing, really, downwind or into the wind, because it's I can yeah. still hit it lower. The yeah. other one, I mean, that one was gonna, not going to go low, like impossible. Well, no. <laughs> it had no chance. Yeah, so that can still chase, but then also, right. All right, now you're just going to hammer one. Just, just hit it, hit it as hard as you want. Absolutely perfect. And the reason I had you hit that one is because if you hit your other one with that soft, light shaft, you hit it as hard as you want, yeah. it goes way, again, right. technical term, wonky. Right. It either goes left or right depending on how you deliver the face. Right. That, you can hit it as hard as you want and not worry that it's going to go offline. Right. <laughs> so we got you a new hybrid. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Good. Well, I mean, because it's literally going further, straighter, <laughs> with like better spin. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and the misses are better. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Every once in a while I get lucky. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, I mean, but that, you know, but it's in your golf bag now and you don't have to worry about it. You know, you don't yeah. have to worry about pulling it out on the 16th hole yeah. when you got a good round going and worry that, oh my gosh, where's this club going to go? Yeah. It, playing at the level you play at, you never want to feel that way. Right. You never, ever want to feel like you just don't know where, where a shot's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Before, when I, you know, laser the number and it was like around the yardage, like four iron, maybe right. hybrid. Like it was like, great, here I am in great position and I don't even know what to play here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so. you know, think about where your team is. That's going to be a big help. Right. You know, right. A shot or, a shot or two around, mm -hmm. a shot or two a tournament. It's, uh, it's the big difference. It's the big difference. It's a huge difference. The difference between finishing fifth or sixth and team winning. So. Right, right. Well, thanks, Larry. You're yeah, the best. There you go. <laughs> that was easy. So it's a TSI-2. It's a three hybrid, 18 degrees. So we went a degree stronger than what you had. And the shaft is a Tensai White 90 gram S-Flex. Okay. So basically, your new hybrid is totally different than your old hybrid. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be heavier, stiffer, and less loft. Got and it. that's what you needed. So just got done with the fitting with Larry. Absolutely love my new hybrid. I'm so excited about it. It's always such a blast um, doing the fitting with Larry. I'm so excited. Anytime I get the chance to come in here and, and swing some and, and look at some new options with Larry here. I trust him a lot with uh, helping to really develop my golf game and it's always just such a good time. It's been a great morning. If any golfers out there are looking a good fit, I mean, really, I think it's it's a no-brainer. Fitting is just absolutely crucial if, if you want to play well. Part of the reason why I've been able to get better at golf is because I had uh, the right equipment that works the best for me. So I think that that applies to every single golfer out there. It's really important to get the advice of the experts here and get out there and know that you've got the right stuff in the bag. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching how to get fit like a pro today. Um, I had such a great morning in here at Minnetonka at Second Swing with Larry today. So without a doubt, 100% uh, schedule your next fitting, schedule your first fitting uh, with Larry or with any of the other great fitters here. Um, you won't be disappointed really. It's, it's the best experience ever and will help you get better as a player.